I'm here at the Old Bridge Marina um, where I'm going to be doing the test number three with the Pack Motor GPS. Um, I have made some software improvements. Oh, I've updated the application to now show my point on the map. Pack Motor just folds up so you know you can easily just push it around, around the ground or on the ground. So it makes it super quick to launch. I brought my laptop again just in case I need to tweak anything on the fly. Right now it's configured just to work with, with my phone and with nothing additional. And I can connect to Pack Motor GPS and now it should read my current GPS location dot. Yes, there's the dot. That's the new code. Uh, let me try to put this on my leg so I can show you here. Um, so. I can zoom in uh, with this plus and minus button here. You can see where I'm at. I'm right there. And so let me just put a coordinate right out here and hit start and see if the motors pick up. They do. It's turning me. Okay. It's good. Going towards that that spot and let's see if my dot updates in real time as I'm going towards that spot. Uh, so far the new code is working as expected. This is pretty nice. Um, and just so you know that I'm I don't have like a hidden remote or something. I have no hands. Um, let me turn the camera around and set a tripod up. What do you mean I have no hands? I have nothing in my hands. Uh, I should be able to do this. Yeah, nothing in my hands. It's, it's driving me to this location. So basically, I don't need a remote. I can just say, oh, I want to go there. Press it on the phone, and it will take me to that location. Um, and I can do 100% hands-free with the pack motor. And so... You guys need to jump on board. I'm telling you, there's no other motor like this. It's got differential control. Uh, it's got Bluetooth navigation. We got an application to go with it. Um, pack motor uh, runs on uh, any 12 volt battery up to 18 volt battery. Um, and we're offering an 18 volt battery now that will give you uh, more performance, um, higher thrust. So I'm about to reach my waypoint. So let's see what it does. It should get me to this location and then the motors will stop automatically. And they did. The motors just turned off. Nothing in my hands. Wow, I'm pretty excited about that. Um, that was definitely a huge software improvement I just did. Uh, with the application code um, and the firmware that goes on the um, microcontroller. Uh, I made some updates there. And I want to go from where I'm at now to right over here in front of the island. And let's hit start. Motors are picking up. It's turning me. Like I said, the island is right over here lined up with those tall buildings. And so it should take me to the right side. So basically right over here um, automatically. And so uh, this may take a few minutes. Obviously it's a kayak, it doesn't go that fast. Uh, so I'll check back whenever I get over to that point and uh, you'll see that this is updating on the fly. You know what, I might just do a time lapse. This guy will zoom back. It's probably a slow speed zone, but hey, I was young once. Um, Alright, so I'm, I'm heading this direction. Uh, it's pretty far. It's probably literally a half a mile. 
it. I think it will. I don't know if I have a speedometer. I have. Let's see where I'm going. It's going to take a second to calibrate. Yeah, I'm going pretty good. Four miles an hour. That's pretty nice. Uh, that's what you get with the 16 volt battery. I'm using the 16 volt battery now. Uh, and it actually moves pretty quick through waves and all that. Um, let me go back to the. Uh, and I'm still on my way. Um, fully autonomous. No hands. Um, pack motors going great. Um, this is really the ultimate fishing machine because I could be trolling, um, I could be rigging things up as I'm going like five miles to my destination where I know I want to fish. And I just put it on the GPS coordinate and just takes me there and then I can fish all day um, with uh, no hassle. This literally takes two minutes to install a pack motor on your kayak and hook your phone up to get GPS coordinates. Like, you can't really beat that. I mean, we're kind of covering all grounds and you get four miles an hour or two with, uh, this isn't like the most lightweight kayak. It's a, it's about a 10 and a half foot kayak. Um, and it's a heavier one because it has the seats and it's, it's a really nice brand. Um, and I still go four miles an hour with it. Um, and I have customers who have pack motors now who have way heavier kayaks like rigged to the max um, and they're reaching those speeds and people are always wondering like oh why does it only have 24 pounds of thrust well that's at the lower voltage that's at 12 volts if you have the 16 volt battery which i like to call it the 18 volt battery because at full charge it's 18 volts um, but when it's normal operation it's 16 so uh, the manufacturer calls it a 16 volt battery, but I like to call it 18 because when it's fully charged you get 18 volts to the back motor for quite a while um, And that's what I'm using now and you get that full thrust uh, It's really cool. Um, let's see how far we're at uh, We're close We're close to our spot. I love how I just added this little yellow dot to tell me where I'm at so I know if the compass is working, I had problems yesterday with the compass, I had problems with wiring, I got those things solved. Um, I updated software, but this is all prototyping. I prototyped all this because I wanted to confirm that pack motor is gonna do what I thought it could do, and certainly it did. Um, so anybody who has a pack motor, just remember it's coming soon and don't hesitate to order now because if you order pack motor now you're eligible for the gps upgrade for free we're going to give it to you for anybody who orders a pack motor uh right now that's not going to last forever though because we you know we'll we'll almost break we'll lose money doing that but i'm i'm okay with that for right now just to to get people onto pack motor um but it's uh it's excellent so i wanted to just kind of like film this whole time just to show you that I was able to drive to that location um, and it was shut off once I'm there. Can you see, look, we're getting closer. Can you see the island through this lens? Because it's gonna take me exactly in front of the island. So if I knew there was a trout hole over here that I always wanna go to, you kind of need GPS to like mark your spot because you're in the middle of the water. There's no marking a spot in the middle of the river. You know, it's really hard to do that. Um, but now with GPS, GPS will literally say, oh, this is exactly where I was at. X and Y coordinates, not X and Y, but you know, longitude, latitude. Um, that's exactly on the dot. So. In the application, I'm going to say, here's my fishing hole, save it. I want to drive to me, drive to there next, take me there. Um, and that's going to be a really cool feature we're going to have with the GPS navigation for all those fishing uh, people out there. But even if you're not a fishing guy and you just like sightseeing a certain place and like go back to certain places, and we're here. Exactly in the dot, uh, it's shut off. So uh, that's going to be really cool. To see, I'm right in front of the island. Um, 
I guess I'll end this video here. It's getting kind of long, so everybody check out packmotor.com.